Hey guys, this is Tonner and today we're going to be talking about some rumors that I just heard and it is a very interesting time to be playing Strike Force. After such a massive patch, we just had this big patch with six characters. I am currently healing from my main source, so keep in mind this is my main source, the one that previously last year predicted 31 out of 31 things and told me the rumors for them. Um, Basically, what we're hearing is that it's only going to be a very small patch next, I believe, with only two characters. This is very insanely interesting to me, and I think there's going to be quite a small patch. The thing is that one of those characters is Jubilee, which means it's a legendary, which means there's only one rumored non-legendary character from my main source. Keep in mind that he usually talks about things that are coming very soon. So this is very interesting. That does mean that unfortunately it does look like Gambit and Rogue from those secondary sources. That rumor didn't end up turning out and you can, uh, I'm incredibly disappointed about that, but I don't want to focus on that too much because Astonishing X-Men look incredibly hype and I just want to talk about them. So first of all, Jubilee. Now we do know that Jubilee is obviously coming. We do know that she's coming and rumored to be, um, sorry, she's not rumored. She's being confirmed she's the next legendary um and we know that it is very likely that she has blinds as a part of her kit if you have a look at the passive that was added to kitty pride it says on enemy miss now currently the astonishing team don't have a way to make the enemy miss and obviously with jubilee it's very likely that she does have some kind of blinds i mean look at her she sparkles she shoots out fireworks i mean i don't want to directly look into fireworks that are an inch from my face but um, I do think that it's very likely that she has blinds. We do know one part about her kit for sure though, it's that her second ability does similar to like a um, Red Skull ultimate, um, except for the fact that after it, <clears throat> if it manages to kill them, it then spreads the negative effects over to everyone. Um, Obviously, there is some negative effects currently on team. You've got Beast flipping. You've got um, Iceman chucking out that slow. So, depending on what Jubilee does, I mean, imagine if Jubilee blinds on basic and she has like a Miss Marvel passive or something. That'd be insanely strong. Definitely worthy of being a legendary and de definitely help them um, be able to last longer in the raid. I am still really, really hyped for this team, even though I do know that Gambit and Rogue aren't likely to get onto it. I'm still insanely hyped. Um, obviously, we do know that she's coming. She's been confirmed now as to being the next legendary. As, and we've already talked about her part powers and everything like that, so I won't focus on too much. But basically, sparkles, that are fireworks that she shoots out, that just do a mass amount of damage as well. She actually is an insanely strong character. She's also being added to Marvel Contest of Champions at the moment, which is interesting that they've kind of done this synergy between Strike Force and Contest of Champions. I didn't expect them to really do that kind of thing, except for when there's like movies and stuff coming. Obviously, Jubilee doesn't um, have a movie or anything, so it's, it's an interesting um, idea that they've kind of added her in. Um, also, in Contest of Champions, they have this banner, and I just wanted to say how much I love this banner. It kind of brings me back to like the old arcade games and old X-Men. It's it's really, really cool. All right. Now, as for who is being unlocked, like who's unlocking her and stuff like that, my theory is still Pimtech. I still think that Pimtech is very likely to be the ones. I mean, they, they, they fit that two old three new thing. They came out about the right time. They don't have many uses. Overall, they just fit the kind of bill for the characters that can be there. Now, as for the second rumored character, it was also the character that was previously data mined um, and has been shared is Lucas Bishop, aka Bishop. <laughs> um, character who came from the future, came back following somebody and then decided to end up sticking around and joining the X-Men. Um, great character and I'm looking forward to him as well. I think that he's going to be a really good addition. Now, what he's going to do, I'm not entirely sure. I believe that he's going to be the major sort of damage on the team besides potentially Jubilee and Iceman does decent damage. Um, <coughs> that um i think that he's going to be a blaster i think blaster makes the most sense for him maybe something similar to like uh thor's passive where as the team takes damage he builds up energy and then 
back out of them would make a lot of sense based on his actual um his abilities which are just energy absorption and then he spits it back out through his gun um blaster overall i think just kind of makes sense you've also got like in mma uh maa uh where he would kind of take less damage and be able to go faster so maybe he gains turn meter when he gets damage or something um and has a chance to potentially protect himself against any attack so maybe uh, when he gets attacked, he also builds up a barrier. I think barrier kind of makes sense. And he also had like a form switch where he could switch between uh, normal actions and then focused actions, um, I believe. So I think that there's a lot of cool stuff that they can do with his kit. I think that he's definitely going to be the high damaging character on the team. Um, but those are the current rumors. As I said, only hearing two rumored characters. Uh, so that's very, very interesting. Um, and one of them being a legendary so maybe potentially next patch is the short patch. Maybe these are further out. Um, I guess we'll kind of have to wait and see. Um, but let me know down in the comments what you guys think. Um, I'm very interested by this. So let me know. Have a great day and goodbye.